Good evening, it is 8.05 p.m. and I am walking around Columbia Basin Job Corps, the perimeter. Um, I apologize for the short video that I um, uploaded yesterday. Thursdays, as I mentioned in several videos, Thursdays have been and always will be a very busy day and uh, filming is very difficult on those days because I am so busy, I don't have time to, you know, make a video. Um, this entire week, I think I mentioned this either yesterday or the day before that, this week is gonna be very short videos as well because I have started KP, which means kitchen control, which is basically all the responsibilities of cleaning before, during, and after breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, to a lot of people, it's a dreaded nightmare to me. I like it because I've worked in four different job places that involved, you know, food. Um, two delis, a fast food restaurant, and a and I, uh, Harley Davidson, I was an event cook. And there's some interesting people that come up to you and ask for your phone number. So anyway, um, so I just want to like, uh, talk about Job Corps again. Um, one thing that I want to add about Job Corps is it's not weird it's not uh uncommon to be homesick um a lot of people uh do become homesick it's a natural what i call a natural phenomenon where all of a sudden like you you feel like you are on a different planet when you're away from your family and you feel like you'll never see them again like, that's how I feel now. Of course, I have lived on my own for about a year before I came here. So when I came here, I wasn't homesick because I was already away from my parents and I kind of was on my own. I wasn't necessarily like paying my own bills because I was in someone's basement. And they were, you know, taking care of me. I just had a few things, you know, like I, I, uh, I paid bill, I paid my phone bill, I bought my own food on some rare occasions. Most of it was provided by the person who I lived with, which was my aunt. She's a gracious, gracious woman who I uh, love. She made me the person who I was, other than my parents. I and mean, my parents were a huge part of my life, but anyway, so it's not uncommon to be homesick. Um, if you ever do go to Job Corps, you will go to an orientation and uh, they will tell you, just don't go home because you're homesick. I know that sounds really cruel and kind of like they don't really care, but they do. A lot of people do go home because they're homesick and then they, when they get home, they're back to normal, like I'm with my parents and then you realize, if only I just stuck it out. If only I just didn't go home. And that's where a lot of people kind of fall, is in that first, I wouldn't say, because everyone has a length of time of homesickness. Some people, it could be a week, some people it could be a month. Um, when I first moved out, homesickness was a long time like I kept going back to my parents was like I, I can't move out and that was for probably about a oh gee a couple months because I was I I lived with my parents for so long and then all of a sudden I'm on my own so everyone's different but you're gonna have people that are gonna be there for you I had a lot of people you know when when I did get homesick in certain areas like when I was really like just packed with a lot of emotions about, you know, like uh, when I was put as a, as Bay Chief, 
I remember I was like, I was so nervous about my position. I was so scared. I, I, I became homesick. I put myself into homesickness and I had some dear friends who were like, you know, you got this girl. And I was like, you know what? I got it and I'm gonna do it. Unfortunately, I did lose the position. Nothing on my part. It was just the whole, the whole thing just wasn't going to work out. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it because I honestly kind of don't know. And it's none of my business because it wasn't my decision. It's kind of the staff decision and I'm not gonna speak for them. Anyway, um, that's one thing I wanna say about homesickness is just, just stick it out. And they're gonna be, and they're gonna be people there for you, including myself. You know, um, I know that I'm wherever you're going to job corps at. You know, I might, I might be 500 miles away, but I'm still here. Hi, I'm still here. Um, what else about job corps? Um, for anybody who is interested in what job corps is, it isn't just like a regular high school like thing you actually get to do a trade like uh, for example there's a soft trade and there's a hard trade soft trades are basically in a classroom with an open book and it's self-paced so there's no one like saying you know hurry up like you're like three chapters behind you can be three chapters behind and you know still still graduate because it's at your pace now the hard trades, which a lot of people like, is where you actually do the work. Let me explain. So like I am in a soft trade, that is nursing. I am in a classroom and I have an open book and I do studies, you know, I do chapters, all that fun stuff. And then I do a few clinicals after I get to a certain point and I actually go into like a nursing home or I'm not quite sure where I go, but it is a, a place where I can actually put my skills to the test and actually, you know, do it. But then there is the hard trade, which is like cement. Cement is a very hard trade. I see people out here in, the, you know, like 100 degree weather, just actually doing cement. Um, and God bless those people, because I couldn't do that. There are, there are a couple women that are actually in cement and I want to applaud them because I couldn't do that, even if you paid me. But they uh, actually put cement down and uh, the, uh, the instructor is act was actually a student in this uh, job corps in the 80s. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, So that is one thing that makes it different than regular uh, high school is that you actually do the trade. You actually do it. Most of them are with hard, hard trades. And um, it doesn't matter if you're a female. It doesn't matter if you're a male. If cement or plastering or carpentry interest you and you want to and you want to do that in your future, they're not going to stop you. This uh, job course are not sexist. They actually encourage you. Um, I remember I tried out plastering and um, the instructor was very, like he says, you want to do plastering, we, we would love to have you. And I was like, wow, even though I couldn't lift what guys could lift, he was still, you know, ex like accepting me, but of course I couldn't do it. So anyway, I'm gonna try to breath. I'll get back with you in a second. 